What's up guys, it's James, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a Berlin Wood Extra Wide review. And here's the deck. Uh, okay, let's get on with it. Um, I got this today, and uh, it was in a trade with a guy on YouTube. And, um, let's see, I mean, I got it, and uh, I was freaking, the first thing I noticed, took it out. I noticed, you know, this thing was a fat deck. Um, I mean, it's Berlin wood, so I don't have to get into, you know, craftsmanship and everything. Um, lacquer, holes, pop, um, sanding, you know, it's all gorgeous. It's a freaking Berlin wood. You guys know what's up? Um, shit. So... I mean, yeah, it's, uh, let's see, performance, um, set it up, and, um, the thing, like, I mean, obviously you notice right when you get on it that, uh, it's got, you know, you have so much more room on it, I mean, you have a lot more room to flick your tricks, you have a lot more room to scoop your tricks, and it's, one of the best things is you have a lot more room to catch your tricks, um, you know, you just feel like you have a lot more control over everything. And, um, you know, two millimeters more than a Berlin Wood wide and uh, four millimeters more than a Berlin Wood regular and a Tech Deck. Um, it just gives you a lot more control over, you know, everything you do. And um, it's a really fun deck to ride. So, um, I mean, I definitely suggest getting one um, if you're skeptical about the extraness of the wide. <laughs> Then, uh, I mean, you know, totally forget about it because I was, to tell you the truth, I was a little skeptical. Um, I just re been really interested in one because I've always liked wide decks and I figured, you know, a little bit more width, um, that'd be, you know, all the better. So, I would definitely get one. They're, um, you know, they're kind of hard to find. Uh, they were on Flatface for a while. Um, you can find them on eBay from time to time, but I mean, the best place to get them is uh, from people on forums like uh, FFI or fingerboardtalk.com um, and even you know some people on YouTube where I got this one um, yeah it's really great uh, like I said you know catching tricks and uh, you know one thing I, I've noticed is um, you know on a lot of reviews they say that like concave of decks uh, really adds to like the way your fingers feel in the board and kind of just set in, but, um, you know, I'm here to tell you that you, you put your fingers in this board, and they just sink in, like, there's not too much concave, I mean, just like a regular burn wood, but, like, since it's so fat, like, your fingers, like, your whole pads of your fingers just, like, rest on the board, like, I mean, you can see, like, from my knuckle, from my, my end knuckle, like, they just sit right in. So it's really good, like, on the pads of your fingers, just catching tricks, flipping shit. Um, yeah, it's pretty much it. Um, great performance. Amazing control. And um, so I suggest getting one. Um, the only thing is, um, on this one, I mean, I guess it was just because it was used, but... There's just some marks up, but yeah, it's just because it's used, so don't even worry about that. Um, it looks great. It's got this uh, orange bottom ply with some uh, lime green at the top. You know, Berlin Wood does an awesome job with their plies and shit. It's got a cool red ply. If you can see that. And, um, so yeah, I would definitely get one. Just because, just because, I mean, shit, it's like the best. Okay, it's the best deck I've ever ridden, and uh, I'm definitely gonna use it a lot. Check it, check it out in my videos that I'm gonna be posting soon. Um, I just got uh, this camera. And I'm getting a fish eye, so um, definitely subscribe. Be interested in your business, and um, check out Everslick Obstacles, which is um, a company that me and my associate run. Um, just stuff. We make benches and um, 
curbs, uh, ledges, just like stuff that we've seen that we don't really like, don't really think, uh, you know, can be made as well as it could have been, or um, just like new and innovative products, doing, th doing things that other people won't do, you know. Um, it's made, they're made out of uh, this synthetic material. Um, it's similar to, I guess, like countertops, I would, some people have said. Um, you could check out Paul Sorvik's review, um, Boots, Mas Boots Monster 22. Um, just check out the website, uh, it'll be in the description. And uh, so, yeah, check that out. And as for the extra wide, it's a fat deck. It's also a PHAT deck. Um, you definitely need to pick one up. They're super sexy. De best, best deck I've ever ridden. I would definitely get one because you know, even though they're a little wide, they are great. And like when you hop back on a different deck, it's like <laughs> the other ones feel small. But I mean, it's not like it affects your, you know, performance on other decks. You know, I can still pick up. A wide and just bust shit out. Um, so extra wide, wide. Just comparison. Great deck. You need to get one. So uh, peace out for now.